A child with a rare genetic disease treated personalized gene therapy. A few months long boy with a life threatening illness genetic became the first person in the world to receive personalized gene therapy, designed specifically to correct its specific mutation causing the disease. In a boy known as KJ, already in the first week of life the so called carbamosophosphate synthase deficit, CPS1 deficiency, was diagnosed. It is up to phi rare, incurable metabolic disease with a genetic basis, which is characterized by inability to completely decompose byproducts protein metabolism in the liver, which causes the accumulation of ammonia in the body to toxic levels. Scientists from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, CHOP, and Perlman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, using the CRISPR gene editing technique was developed by personalized therapy for KJ. They steered a specific gene mutation in the child's liver cells that it led to a disorder. This is the first known case of personalized therapy developed using CRISPR given to the patient. From diagnosis to the administration of therapy only six months passed, and KJ responded well to the treatment. Results and description of therapy appeared in the journal New England Journal of Medicine. When we consume excessive amounts of protein, our bodies they break down the amino acid into ammonia. This is then converted into the liver in urea, which is harmless and ultimately excreted from the body. However, in people with a CPS1 deficit, one of the enzymes involved in the cycle the urea does not work properly, so ammonia begins to accumulate in the blood. Symptoms of this condition usually appear soon after birth and include vomiting, lethargy, excessive sleepiness, rapid breathing and the convulsions. Over time, the disorder may become more debilitating, leading to serious neurological problems, developmental delays or damage the liver. Treatment includes a low protein diet until the child it will reach the age for a liver transplant. However, there is a risk that in the waiting period will develop organ failure. High levels ammonia can cause coma, swelling of the brain and can be fatal. Only half of children with severe CPS1 deficit survive long enough to get a transplant. KJ received the first dose about six months after the birth. Then he got two more. Positive results of therapy were visible from, come on. The boy started taking more protein in his diet, which allowed researchers to reduce the dose needed to control ammonia levels in the blood. The developed drug is specific to the genetic sequence of KJ and never it will be used in another person. We knew that the method used for delivery machinery for gene editing to the child's liver cells will allow us to multiple administration of treatment. This meant we could start with low the doses we were sure of is safe, said Dr. Rebecca. Aaron's Nicholas of CHOP. Another confirmation of the effectiveness of therapy occurred when KJ he contracted a gastrointestinal disease. These infections would usually be extremely dangerous for a child with CPS1. We were very worried when the child fell ill, but it simply ignored the disease, explained Dr. Kieran. Musiniru of the University of Pennsylvania, co-author of the paper. Aaron's Nicholas stressed that it was too early, to talk about healing the baby. The results now look promising, but the boy will need constant monitoring. If all goes well, this may be the first example of new therapies that can be adapted to treatment of a wide range of genetic disorders in the future. So far, dozens of people have received treatment prepared from use of CRISPR technique. However, these therapies were designed this way, it can be used in many people with the same disorder. In the case of KJ researchers adjusted the therapy specifically for the boy to correct a specific the genetic sequence in its genome. Smart Home Devices Scientists hope their approach will inspire others researchers to use CRISPR in the treatment of rare genetic diseases. The therapy has been developed using a platform that can be adapted to treatment of a wide range of disorders. This opens the way to creation personalized therapies treating other diseases. As a platform, gene editing based on components reusable and quick personalization promises a new precision era the medical medicine of hundreds of rare diseases, offering patients life-changing therapies, especially when the time matters most, said Dr. Joni L. Rutter, Rutter, hey, director of the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences at National the Institutes of Health. 
We hope that it is possible to show that it is possible to develop personalized therapy for a single patient in a few months, it will inspire others to do the same. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say it's the future of medicine. This is the first step towards the use of therapy produced using gene editing to treat a wide range of rare ones genetic diseases that have not yet developed any methods for treatment, Muzanuru said.